to Welcome everyone to the Pro Skills 39 team. Abbreviated as Pro 39, I am Ms. Ha, founder and CEO of the project. Today, I will present the project on the online training platform for talents and freelancers on Cardin O. It's a platform dedicated to training freelancers on Cardin O. Why we started this project? Talent and freelancers want to participate in the Cardin O and Catalyst ecosystem but lack practical training and skills. The reasons are 1. Skill gap in the blockchain industry, despite the demand increasing more than five times since 2022. 2. High non-completion rate on Catalyst, reaching 50%. Establish a professional freelancer training platform to connect freelancers with experts. Freelancers will have the opportunity to learn the necessary knowledge and skills to become experts in their desired fields our ultimate goal to create high quality talents contributing to the development of cardano and catalyst pro skills 39 originated from fund 8 and fund 9 catalyst with a small capital we have successfully closed out and received feedback from over 1000 freelancers and clients on the platform pro skills 39 is a project with a good track record with catalyst Detailed project plan with to clear components in seven months. Part one, product development. Part two, three marketing campaigns. Total project implementation in seven months with four key milestones. Proposal defined clear KPIS in seven months with the number of completed learners and direct engagement on the Pro Skills 39 platform. Detailed budget plan for seven months with over 70% focus on product development and 25% on marketing, 5% for risk planning. The project aims to provide cost savings for the Cardin O ecosystem by offering competitive salaries that are 40 to 50% lower than the job market rates in Vietnam. This cost-effective approach allows for efficient allocation of resources while maintaining high quality, talent and contributing to the sustainability and growth of the Cardin O community. The impact of the project on Cardin O ecosystem has for parts. Cultivating high quality talent for Cardin O's advancement. Active promotion of the training platform. Generating interest in coding through practical lessons. Enhancing completion rate of Catalyst funded projects. Thank for your listening. Please help us to bring Pro Skills 39 to freelancers on Cardin O. Search the keyword Pro 39 and vote yes. Great presentation, Ms. Ha. Very professional. Thank you for, uh, for your listening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, put the question. Mm -hmm. But yeah. before we go to the questions of the community, perhaps we have questions from the participants today. If you do not have a questions, uh, currently you want to ask Sunny as usual. Go, go ahead, Sunny. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to think about it, make sure it made sense in my head first before I asked, but it's, it's more about the, the financials. Hi, great presentation, by the way. Um, I just want to understand, like, the, the freelancers who are going through the, your system, uh, are they going to be directly employed by other employees that you're matching them with? Or are you using, like, some kind of an escrow where they are paid kind of like Fiverr? Is it, a, I'm just trying to understand how the system would work. And also... For the courses, would they be paying for it in um for the courses in Ada or would it be in Fiat? How how are you working the monetary side of the platform? Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I guess there was two questions there. <laughs> Go ahead, Buck. Yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> So uh, yeah, I I'm also working with the uh, on the the team. So I'm taking care for the um, the English basically because she she text with the the answer. So I translate to her. I, I remember from last week, Buck. It's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks, Sunny. You are always uh yeah always are like the sun for the first questions. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> uh, firstly, you asked about how the financial model, right? So this is this is uh, it's just like 
if, if you're already in Fiverr, it, it look like, uh, put it like Fiverr Academy. So, so basically, it is an academy that freelancer or any, any learners who want to learn, they have to apply and pay for the courses from the expert. And so uh, we're going to set the, like the commission fee uh, uh, for, for the, uh, so it's not free cost. So basically, you, it's a paid cost. And at the end, uh, after they graduate, they have the certificate. And they can actually apply into the Procure's uh, 39 ecosystem for, for job uh, uh, applicants with the credential that they already have this cost, this cost, and this cost. So okay. basically, it's a training to equip the freelancer with more practical and, and certified skills. Okay, yeah. I got it. Yeah. That's it. yeah. And then they'll be able to pay, pay for these courses in, in the crypto. I'm, I'm oh, yeah, yeah. So it's, okay. it's gonna be a uh, ADA wallet link with the uh, with this, and and the certificate will be an NFT. I'm presuming. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. an NFT. Good. Okay. I was gonna say it might, might it makes sense, right? If we're gonna be in Cardano, use all the technology at the disposal. Yeah, because but, because but, we okay. see the skill gap, so some of them want to you know enable themselves with dry knowledge so that they can apply for the job later on. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And, you, and then you're going to find the employers for them. You're going to find the projects that are requiring the, the skilled people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. No, it's, a, it's a lovely model. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Sunny. So there's some questions on the gap, right? That is correct. Uh, Raphael, you had your hands up. Yes. Hey, Raphael. Uh, I have a yeah. quick question. Hello, Buck. Um, yeah, basically, so you'll be giving training, which I think is really good. If you already have a freelance platform, that's awesome. Will, for example, the people that are receiving training, do you have any kind of like internship or real life experience for them to prepare before immediately uh, becoming like a freelancer and doing work for a company? Uh, so it, yeah, it's, it, it depends actually. Is uh, it depends on the requirement from from the uh, put it like the project owners or the or the job hire when they yeah when they request or do they need like probation or uh like like you say the uh, internship phase so uh, the 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 initial of the idea is that the the trainer actually is can come from the project owners who they already have the skill so they want to you know, to apply on the platform to give some of the basic training so that they seek for the good student who can also be applied to their project later on. Yeah, so the initial, uh, the, 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 the fee of the, uh, the cost is not so expensive, uh, but actually it's the way so, so that people uh, can connect and find the right people. And uh, yeah, we, we've been uh, uh, discussing a lot, but we don't want to make it free at all. Because with like MOOC model is, uh, yeah, we, we don't see it's like people commit to follow through at the end. So we want to make them pay uh, however uh, small the amount it is. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I, I, I hope I, I, I can answer your, your questions. Awesome. So here's a question from the community, uh, Buck. Yeah. Uh, they are asking, how did you come up with the statement that unfinished proposals are a result of skilled resources? Uh, yeah. Seeing the structure of Catalyst, will it not be to the lack of project management skills? Uh, yeah, this is the, uh, I, I, I read, of, uh, I have uh, some time to read about the questions beforehand. Uh, yeah, but this is really uh, a bit challenging questions, by the way, but um, we, we think that that's one of the assumptions, to be honest. And, uh, and uh, the statement in project management is actually true, especially, you know, with the, yeah, we, we own here since before with Catalyst in uh, like fund A, uh, fund seven, when the, the, when the price of ADA is pretty high and uh, actually it's paid by ADA. And then it, it plummeted in a way, right? So it, yeah, of, of course, it's a project management and risk management for the project owner who take the budget and whether they manage to release it uh, uh, to for the team to uh, to make it happen. Uh, but uh, 
I'm also been the in the challenge teams in uh, fun uh, fun nine fun ten. So I see a lot of uh, in complete in in completion ratio is more for the technical product rather than the community build products. So that's why we we have that assumption because the the technical skill gap on that so that the technical pro projects uh, haven't been you know completed on time with the higher rate than uh, community based project. And the third one. I think this is also my uh, one of my assumption, uh, one of my my uh, estimation at the uh, beginning. So I, I as a proposer, uh, I tend to at first with Catalyst a bit like over promise and under deliver. So so I think that that also when we more experience and we make it more practical and also yeah we need to looking for the right resource or the right the right partner to deliver it. So, so I don't think it it only because of the uh, of the skill gap, but it's a um, a combination of a few factors on that. Thank Great you. Answer. Thank you, but yeah, interesting. And hope um, uh, you get vote from a committee. Thank you. Yeah.